Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set your audio levels in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump into the video. We're in DaVinci Resolve here and I've already gone ahead and put a clip in my timeline that's got audio attached to it. So this is the clip we're going to use and I'm going to show you how I would set the levels. So while we play through the clip, we want to watch our meters over here and I'll blow it up on the screen here for you. But we want to watch these meters and our goal is to get the audio to fall between minus 10 and minus 15 decibels. So somewhere in this range, which is going to be yellow in color. So I'm going to play through the clip here. We're going to watch the meters here and kind of see what we get. So let's play through the clip. What's up guys, we're going to use this video to set our audio levels here in DaVinci Resolve and one thing you want to be sure you do is make sure you set your audio levels good in your camera when you're recording it because if you're peaking and your levels are too high, you're not going to be able to fix that in DaVinci Resolve. So make sure you got good levels in your camera and now we're going to jump into Resolve and I'm going to show you how to set your audio levels. So let's get into it. So by watching the meters as we're playing through the video, we see that the first half of the video up to here and we can see where the waveforms start to get a little taller. So up to about this point, we fall in the 10 to 15 range, and that's pretty good. That's kind of where we want to be. But from this point on, we've got some peaks up into the red. And when you see a little line stay on the meter here, you're not going to be able to, for example, this right here, that's telling you where the peak of your audio is and how high up it actually goes. So there's a couple ways we can adjust the second half of this clip, and I'm going to use some keyframes to lower the audio for the second half of the clip here. So I'm going to open my inspector. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And right here looks like a good spot to add a keyframe. I'm going to add that in. I'm going to move ahead a few frames and I'm going to add another keyframe. Now on this side, I know that my audio is a little high, so I want to drop it down just a little bit. So you can just hover over this line right here and you can drag down a little bit. So let's just drag it down minus two and see how that works out. So I'm going to watch my meters over here as I play through the second half of this clip and see where my peaks are. You're not going to be able to fix that in DaVinci Resolve. So make sure you got good levels in your so it looks like it's still a little high. I'm going to back up and lower that down just a little bit more. Come down, say, minus about minus 5, minus 4.5. And I'm going to play through the clip again. Hi, you're not going to be able to fix that in DaVinci Resolve. So make sure you got good levels in your camera. And now we're going to jump into Resolve, and I'm going to show you how. OK, that looks pretty good. So it's a little bit more even now as we go through the entire clip. And our levels are close to that 10 to 15 range. And for dialogue, you always want to keep it in that 10 to 15 range with an average around 12. So I'm going to leave that audio track how it is right now. And let's say I wanted to add some music below that track. How would I set that? So I have a music track here. I'm going to play it. And you're going to see right now that the music is too loud. So we need to set a good level for that music. So let's play it back so you can hear it. What's up, guys? We're going to use this video to... And if you see the meters over here, we're going into the red, which is too much. Sure you do is make okay, so that's too much. So, a couple ways we can do it. I'm going to start, and we could do a easy, quick thing here of normalizing the audio. So, I'm going to come up, normalize audio levels, and I'm going to just leave it as it is. Sample peak rate program for the option here, and minus 9 decibels. So, it should bring the peaks down to around 9, which should, in theory, give us an average of around 12-ish uh, for the rest of the audio. So, I'm going to click that. Now, let's play through it and see how it sounds, and watch our meter over here. What's up, guys? We're going to use this video to set our audio levels here in DaVinci Resolve. And so looking at the meters, we want to make sure that our music falls in the green range of the meter. So if I play What's through, up, we see right now it's up in the yellow and we want it to stay down in the green. So it's behind our vocal tracks and we can hear our audio from whoever's talking clearly. So there's a few ways we can do that. If you want the entire track lowered, the entire length of the clip, you can just grab your uh, volume button either up here in the inspector or right down here on your clip and lower that down a little bit more. So let's say if I did uh, minus 15 and play through that and watch my meter, see where that falls. What's up, guys? We're going to use this video to set our audio levels here in DaVinci. OK, it's peeking into the yellow a little, so I might want to lower it back just a little bit. Maybe we'll do minus 17, see how that looks. And play it again, watch our meters. What's up, guys? We're going to use this video to set our audio levels here in DaVinci Resolve. And one thing you want to be sure you do is make all right, so that's not too bad. You can hear the audio. Of course, I would go through and do some other processing, EQ, and all that kind of stuff on uh, the vocal track. But for now, I'm just showing you how I would set the levels. So keep in mind, you want to go through and check out all your audio clips. Make sure they all kind of are in the same range, in this 10 to 15 range for your vocals and a little lower for your music tracks. But once you have all your clips in your timeline kind of in a similar range here on your meter, then you can go through and use your fader here to raise and lower the overall volume of the track. Okay, so that's the basics of setting your audio levels. You want your vocals to be between minus 10 and minus 15. 
and any background music track or background effects you want it to be in the green area, which is uh, below minus 20, minus 25, somewhere down in there. So that way you get a good balance between your two audio tracks. And you can use things such as audio ducking, which I'll leave a link to above. And what audio ducking does is it drops the volume of your music track while somebody's talking. And then when they're done talking, it puts the volume of that music track back up. And I'll leave a link to that above here. So you can go check that out if you're interested in that. So smash that like button if you like this video, if it helped you out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Maybe you want to check out some more DaVinci Resolve tutorials? You should definitely subscribe over here. Click the little bell. That way you get notified when I put out a new video.